Today's tutorial is the part 2 of what not to do in portrait shoots. Action! Ah! I killed you with the annoying tilts in the photo of the slideshow in this episode, didn't I? Don't tilt wrongly in portrait shoots. Well, let me share with you two of my favorite rules when it comes to tilting in portraits. Number one, avoid putting your subjects with a body starting from this point or this point like this. If you do so, chances are your photos would over tilt. And number two, if you are shooting a photo with your subject being full body like this, you should not even tilt. It will just look over tilted. And rule number three of tilts, if you show more of your subject's body in a portrait shoot, you should tilt less. The reason is because you're gonna see the horizon more at the back. So this would work for a tighter shot where you can tilt more. Whereas when it comes to this shot, you should tilt less. In fact, I have a rule of thumb that can help photographers easily determine if they've over tilted in a photo shoot. We are dedicating a whole episode on the rule of tilts in photography coming to this channel soon. Or even better, if you can't wait, you should sign up our premium courses where we have lessons all about the rule of tilting. Complete. Well, you know what? I have a simpler rule. If you're not sure when to tilt, how much to tilt, then... Don't tilt. Because untilted photos can be tilted in post. Tilted photos will be very hard to untilt. Don't start your photo shoots immediately the moment you reach your shoot locations. Instead, walk around with your subject and together determine and agree on the spots that you both like. And the deeper you walk and the further you walk throughout the locations, you'll find out that those locations or spots are even nicer. So don't start shooting at the first few spots that you see. You move over there. No, 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 not you. You are not you. You are you. You go there. That's right. All right. What's the power? 1 over 16. Why are you even 1 over 16? So what power you want? Guys, can we try getting one shot first? Can you just hold your pose? This is just the first shot. We are not... Oh. Okay. Guys, come on. Never start your shoots with complicated setups. Always start easy. That way, you can pace the shot, ease everybody in, and never complicate things. And that is how you should start every portrait shoot, no matter how experienced you are. You may be experienced, your subject isn't, or maybe your lighting assistants aren't. No, 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 look up a bit. Down, down, down. Okay, okay, good. I like that. No. Right, 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 hang on. Oh, yeah. Up, up, up a bit. No, 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 no. Yo, oh, 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 oh. Oh. Stop doing that. A photo shoot, a portrait shoot is already stressful enough for your subject. So with you bucking instruction and not smiling is really going to add on to the stress. So learn to always smile when you give instruction to your subjects. Be cheerful and the shoots will just turn out more positive and amazing. Smile. You, the photographer. Hands nearer to your cheek. No, oh, just 2cm. That's good. All right, face turn out a little bit. Oh, no, 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 eye contact, eye contact. Stop posing your subjects too much. That's a good one, Alicia. She's got a point. Look at it this way. When you have a model working for you, you should let her do her poses and then tweak from there. And even if you have clients hiring you, don't overwork them with the poses. There are more things than just poses that will make your portrait shoots look nice. Bad hand poses like this. If you want to put your hand up on a tree or pole, your hand shouldn't be too high. Lower this a little bit, Alicia. Right down to be lower than your eye. Nothing should be higher than the eyes. That's it. Have your hips closer to the tree. That's how you do it. Compare these two pictures. The first one, wrong, because the hand is too high. The second one, much better. You must be thinking why this rule is important and how it works. Well, if you include the subject's hands, the subject would then look smaller because the hand is longer. But if you decide to crop off the hand and have the subject bigger, you notice that it looks incomplete and like the arms got lopped off and looks like Alicia is trying to steal something from the tree. Compare these two pictures and then look at this one now. Don't you think that this one looks more balanced and perfect? Wrong finger poses. Poses like this will make your fingers look stumpy and short. Instead, Alicia, show us better poses. Have your fingers extended open and spread apart. That way, your fingers would look longer and nicer. 
chin down a little bit, that's nice. Pull your hand up a little. Oh, wrong poses on your feet. One of the most annoying thing is posing your subjects wrongly on the feet. Pull your feet in a little bit. Feet should be flat down and pointed whenever you can. That's correct. Not too much, just out a little bit. So you notice that the higher the knee is, the more pointed the feet is, the nicer the feet poses will be. Wrong poses on legs and feet for your subject. If you look at this shot, you notice that Alicia extended her legs too much and that way she couldn't put her feet down. And because of this, she had to lean forward, thus making her pose look kind of odd. To remedy this, all you need to do is to get your subject to retract her legs a little bit nearer to her body. That way, she can sit up straight and at the same time, she can put her feet down. This will be a more pleasant pose. However, in your quest of trying to get the perfect pose for your subject's legs and feet, don't exert too much force. Otherwise, your subject's calf muscle gonna end up looking like this. Truth be told, there's a lot that you can do as a portrait photographer to improve on the poses of your subject's hands, arms, fingers, hips, legs and feet. That is why I strongly encourage you to head on to this link here. Check out my e-learning on portrait photography. It's a highly popular course because a lot of photographers subscribe to it simply because it has a huge array of lessons on how you can improve on your subject's poses, male, females, all aspects of the body. Check out this course here. Okay, chin up a bit, smile at me. Right, with the teeth. That's good. All right, not so much. All right, put your hand on the leaves. Oh, the other hand, Alicia. Okay, good. Now put your hand on your waist. The other hand. Alicia, what's wrong? Oh, man. Andrew, why not just show me? So what I want you to do is just smile into the camera. I'm going to be there. Put your hand on the leaves and then put this hand here. And then what I want you to do is just turn your hip this side and then one, two, smile. Alicia is totally correct. Don't just stand there, hands holding cameras and flashes and direct your subject. That's really annoying. Put your camera down and then show the model or the subject how to do. That will be easier and friendlier and less looking like a boss on set. One, two, and go. Oh, that's beautiful. Just love this. And never, ever need to show your subject what you shot. Don't do that. It's annoying. This is how you look like. Tell me what you think. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. Nice, but why do you take three seconds to say nice? If your subject is taking more than two seconds to say nice, it's probably not nice. Let me show you. I'm just going to show you photos. Just be yourself and tell me when they're really nice. Huh? Ah, see? Mm. What did I tell you? If that shot is nice, the reaction to it, the positive reaction to it will be immediate. So models don't make great liars. <laughs> guys, can you guys do me a favour? Having you guys standing here, not putting your heavy bags down, is really giving mental stress. I need to find you great locations. So Daryl, you, you got to like put your bags down. Don't, don't give me that mental stress. Oh man. Top 10 things that drive photographers crazy in the coming episode. What did he mean? How? Huh? Nice ah? She's not even freaking paying attention. She's like touch here, touch there, scratch here, scratch okay. there. Hello. You can cut the photo already actually. So. I, that's what I was thinking, not to show photo. <laughs> <laughs> Who's working for who here? <laughs> <laughs> I need to see these feet, so don't hide this here. Yeah? Otherwise, you look like you don't have a feet. So you see, you always show these feet, but it's important to be just on top and pointed. And then oh. again, your fingers need to be correct. You cannot do a wrong feet and a wrong finger. So again, fold it towards the camera. That's good. And don't expose your feet to me. Close it down and point it to the front, like a ballet dancer. You got it. Turn your shoulder to me. That's called opening your shoulder. This is called closing your shoulder. Close your shoulder. That's called closing your shoulder. Open your shoulder. That's the term we're going to use.